The Night of the Hunter, directed by Charles Lawton, tells the story of a psychopathic creature's attempt to steal from a widowed mother and her two young children. Released in 1955, cinematographer Stanley Cortez relies greatly on familiar image and low-key lighting to convey theme and to enhance storytelling. Familiar image, defined by Barsom and Monaghan, is an image periodically repeated with or without variations to help stabilize the narrative. Much like the deep focus of Charles Foster Kane in Citizen Kane and the repeated speaker image in Bartholomew's song, Cortez and Lawton repeat numerous images throughout this film. One of the first examples of familiar image comes in the film when we see young John's dad be arrested. He grips at his stomach as if he's in pain, and later on in the movie we see this exact same reaction from John when the psychopathic preacher, Harry, is arrested. Another familiar image that we often see is Harry lurking behind the fence of either the children's home or Miss Cooper's home. We see this image quite often and always before Harry intends to do harm. This creepy image helps create the predator-like character that is the preacher, Harry. Another important familiar image that we see throughout the film is the image of Harry's tattoo knuckles, love, and hate. These are shown quite often and always relate back to the theme of duality that is ever-present in this film. Next, let's talk about lighting in The Night of the Hunter. Cortez and Lawton use low-key lighting frequently throughout the film. Low-key lighting, defined by Barsom and Monaghan, is used by lowering the intensity of the key light and getting rid of the fill light altogether. This creates a shadow on the right side of the subject's face. Low-key lighting used on Harry reinforces the idea of the duality presented to the audience with his knuckle tattoos. This allows the preacher to be seen as half light and half dark, or as half love and half hate, like his hands, representing the duality. Harry is also represented quite frequently in a silhouette form, and quite often in a silhouette that is lurking over the children. This frightening representation helps create the evil character of Harry and allows his dark intentions to be known. Another lighting choice that is used most noticeably throughout the film is the creation of this triangle light, most notably used when Harry kills Willa and later when Willa is linked to the young girl that is infatuated with Harry. Another character that is lighted in a distinguished way is Mrs. Cooper. From the beginning of the film, Rachel Cooper is lit up almost as an angel, and this serves true to the end when she proves to be the guardian angel for the children. This is also similar to the lighting placed on Willa right before she was murdered. She was lit up in an almost angelic way. In a review of The Night of the Hunter posted on charlotteviewpoint.org, the film is credited for its cinematography, which may be considered one of the cinema's greatest achievements in black and white, according to the article. The film is also praised for all of its incredible still images, most notably this one of Willa at the bottom of the river. Cinematographer Stanley Cortez reveals that it was a joy creating the night of the hunter, and many feel that this was his best work, also that it is one of the greatest cinematic films of all time.